Hello class, Professor Anderson here. Uh, a lot of students were wondering about the box on the incline problem and how exactly we get to uh, mg sine theta uh, as the component of gravity down the incline. So let's take a look at that. If I have an incline, then typically the incline angle is given by theta right there. So if I put a box on an incline, and it is sliding down the incline. There is a component of gravity that is pulling it down the incline. There is maybe some friction involved. There's a normal force. How do we model all this? Well, if we go to a free body diagram, we always draw gravity straight down. There is, of course, a normal force in this picture, N, which is perpendicular to the surface. And if it's sliding down the plane, then there is some kinetic frictional force back up the plane. Now, when I think about this free body diagram, if I draw a traditional x and y axis, I will have two vectors, n and fk, that are not along either the x or the y. But if I draw a rotated coordinate system, where y is in that direction and x is in that direction. Now look what I've done. I have the normal force along y. I have fk along negative x. And now I only have one vector to deal with, which is mg. And so here's the question. If I draw this free body diagram again, I have the normal force. I have f sub k. I have some component of gravity in that direction some component of gravity in this direction. And what we don't know is which one's which. We know that one of them has to be mg sine theta, one of them has to be mg cosine theta, but we don't really know which is which. So, how does theta compare to this? Well, let's think about it in the following way. I know that if I draw mg as a vector straight down, I can draw that as two vectors, one along the negative y, one along the positive x. And so the question is, is this angle theta, or is this angle theta? And let's see if we can figure it out. So let's draw the triangle again, a little bit bigger. And now this is our angle theta. Here's my object. If I draw a line straight down, then that's a right angle. And if I draw a line normal to the surface, then this is a right angle, but also this is a right angle. Okay, so let's look at this triangle right here. There to there to there. If that's theta and that's 90 degrees, then there is a little angle right here, which must be 90 degrees minus theta, because we know that theta plus 90 plus this angle has to equal 180 degrees. And since this whole angle here is a right angle, then this remaining angle right there is also theta. So, on the picture over here, mg going straight down along the hypotenuse, this is the angle theta. And therefore, this side of it becomes mg sine theta. This side becomes mg cosine theta. And so that's what you put on your force diagram. The one going down the incline is mg sine theta. The one going into the surface is mg cosine theta. All right, hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, if not, come see me in my office. Good luck. Cheers.